Hello everybody, Shandon here. Today we're talking with our good friend Allison Mayhe about networking. Allison is a manager at the Green Room Management. Thanks for coming, Allison. Thanks for having me, Shandon. What would you say networking actually means in Hollywood and within the context of being an actor in Hollywood? I think networking in Hollywood, um, you need to learn your place. I think you need to not push things that aren't there. Mm -hmm. I think you need to slow down and I think you really need to absorb who you are as an actor and who you are as a person. I think a big misconception with networking, especially with actors, is that you're trying to you know, convince somebody to help you in some way. And that's networking. If I, if I network with this, with this person or with this casting director, maybe I'll get a part. You don't need to be the center of attention at all times. You just need to be really good at what you do. People tend to network with the idea of results in mind, but you're saying to kind of let go of the results. It's not about what the it's results are. It's not about the results. It's about being a good person mm. and really wanting to help in a situation where you don't have to win every time. If you win, great, but you're just happy to be a part of it. Yeah, I love that. I love that. I feel like there's so many people that we meet at the studio that it's always about, you know, results, you know, results drive them. And, you know, the, sometimes the best results happen when you're not actually pushing for that result. A hundred percent. People don't want to deal with people who are narcissistical. No. People want to deal with people who work as a team. And people want to deal with people who can help the production get to where it needs to be without pinpointing one person all the time. Yeah, I think in general you just want to be likable and the more likable you are, the more people are willing to help you out. And they also do like when people are close with each other and people are willing to help each other out because that's when you have chemistry. Yeah. And that's when the movie is always great. If you're not being a team player, you're not going to be likable and no one's going to want to help you out. And I've always, always, always tried to make it that every single one of my clients, as well as my children, work behind the scenes as well as in front of the scenes because it's so important to know what everybody else around you is doing. Totally, and it's, it's a way for them to have empathy and to realize like, oh wait, in this moment, it's not about me. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. It shouldn't be about And you. they work really hard too. Depending on where you start, if you have an agent, if you have a manager, if you have nothing, you have to figure out where you wanna be. When we got here first, I said, you know what, let me see if they could handle this. I'm gonna put them in background and let's see how their grades are and let's see how I could handle this before I throw three children into this who have no idea what they're doing. So we did background for a year and every single time that we did background, they would pull my kids and my kids got to have Hartley that way. Oh really, I didn't know that. Yes. That's amazing. So a lot of times when people want to start their kids in the business, I suggest that before they spend all the money on the headshots, the actor's access, and all of that stuff. Let them get their feet wet. Get your feet wet and see how you and your child react to it. I feel like a lot of times the kids say they want it, but they don't know what it entails. Yeah, they just want to be famous. Mm -hmm. and, and it's not about being famous. It's never it's about It's a that. lot of work. The acting classes are a lot of work, the auditions are a lot of work, and it's a lot for mom and dad. And if everybody's not on the same page, it's not worth it. Would you say like successful networking is just about making as many friends as possible? It's about making as many authentic friends as possible, not just friends. I mean, it has to be something genuine that you can trust somebody and care about somebody enough to want them to be with you. Yeah. And, I mean, how do you keep up with these people, typically? I try every few weeks to reach out to people and say, hey, how's it going? Everything okay with you? You know, I, I take a genuine interest in people's lives, and I really do care about people. Yeah. It, sometimes I wear my heart on my sleeves too much because of it, you know? But I'll never change who I am. Have you ever looked at somebody and thought, this is somebody that I should get to know better because they might be able to help me in the future. Do you look at it that way or not? No, not that they will be able to help me in the future, but I would like to be able to help them in the future. 
Oh, that's interesting. You take on relationships because of what you can do for them. I don't really require a lot back. I like to give of myself. I'm not a taker, I'm more of a giver. And if I can help people, that's what my goal is in life. I think we would all be better off if we thought that way. If we thought, how can I give first as opposed to what can this person do for me? It makes me feel good to give. To give to people, to me, is my reward every day. How important do you feel um, social media is in regards to an actor's success in Hollywood? I don't feel that it is important at all. Really? I don't. I think that there is way too much emphasis put on social media. I think it's ridiculous. I think it could ruin a person's career. And I feel like it's really a place where you know actors are being driven crazy with it because it's well, just one more thing that they need to keep up with. Yes. And, and you know, all of a sudden, you know, they're, like they're filming every aspect of their lives, and you know, they're doing things that are you know is inappropriate or unnecessary sure. just to get attention and to get followers. And a lot of it is not for actors. Actors, it's for the YouTube stars who want to be one-hit wonders. No. The thing is, it it. I feel that you have to very, be very, very, very careful about what you put on social media these days because it will ruin your career in five seconds. Yeah, flat. once it's online, it's online forever. And, and if you don't have authentic away. followers, why bother? People buy followers in tens of thousands of dollars and spend money that is so ridiculous. Get yourself on one good show. My son Mason did one episode of a Disney series and got 11,000 followers from one episode. Oh my God, you're kidding. He was completely, completely private mm -hmm. and his phone started blowing up. Yeah. 11,000 followers in one night and that was all authentic. That's interesting because then I think that kind of goes to the the feeling of putting the cart before the horse. Like a mm -hmm. lot of these actors who don't have the network credits think, oh, if I've got social media following, then that will help get me those credits. Right. But the reality is you need to have the credit in order to get the followers. And then that's when your social media numbers might be impressive because it's because of work that you've done as an actor. Exactly. As and opposed it to has just being shirtless or, you yes. know, being crazy and, and doing something that's dangerous like you were you were talking about before. Right. And then what happens is you have those authentic followers and they follow you through your career. Mm -hmm. They want to see what you're doing next. They want to see your great projects and and then you build a following. Yeah. That you could be truthful to and that you could be you can teach them how you want to be as a person. You don't do things that are not going to make you who you truly, truly are. You stick with yourself when it comes to social media and you don't go crazy with things that are going to get attention that you don't need. So what steps would you suggest actors take to network that don't involve social media? I think they should take classes in what they feel is where they want to be. My Are you talking acting classes? Acting. Or? Um, my one daughter is a drummer. And now they are all starting an acro class where they can do their own martial arts and they can do their own stunts because that's a big, big thing coming out in Hollywood now that it's easier for them to pay people who can do their own stunts as well as act. Classes are one way that people can network, and what, what else would you suggest? What's been so wonderful with us, so wonderful with us, is that we have an unbelievable group of moms who are so kind to each other, and the kids are growing up the same way. They go to birthday parties together, they go to events together, they go to auditions together, and they are always, always, always happy for one another. Not at every kid, but when you get a great group of parents and a great group of kids who know right from wrong and don't believe that this is their kid's be all, end all of life and that their kid is truthfully their child instead of an actor, mm -hmm. then you have a really good situation with networking too. So, so how would you suggest finding your tribe if you're, if you're new to Hollywood? With my children, we found them at school. Mm -hmm. We also found them in acting classes and through our managers and agents. There were certain kids that they always wanted to put us with um, because they knew the type of people we were and they tried to keep those people together. So you're saying that once you actually kind of get 
a manager and an agent who are submitting you, it automatically starts happening because you're kind of paired with the same people over there. Yes, and, over and truthfully, it becomes like a family. Yeah. And I am always, even if Mason has the same audition as somebody else, I am so happy to go over the lines with them and help them learn. I mean, just because my child has that audition does not mean that everybody else's child doesn't have that audition and doesn't mean my kid's going to get it. Right. Every single kid deserves a fair shot and every single one of the kids that our kids hang out with know that. So how do you stay on top of things? How do you stay current with what's going on in Hollywood? I watch a ton of sitcoms, I watch a ton of um, dramas and I like to see the difference on what's going on in the world today through acting, not through news and television and all of that. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're saying how what's going on in the world is affecting the programming mm -hmm. that we're watching. Yes, yeah. 100%. And I think it helps me know where my clients need to be when I watch those shows. Yeah. Well, of course. I mean, we say this to our actors all the time. How do you know what you're right for if you don't watch television? Mm -hmm. How do you know where you fit into the scheme of Hollywood Absolutely. if you're not even aware of what the content that's being produced is? And it's also very, very, very important to know your clients yeah. and who they are as people. And you feel like you, you end up having relationships with them before you manage them? Absolutely. Yeah. It's very difficult for me to not do that because then how do I place them? How did you go from being a mom to becoming a manager? A lot of our clients have come from networking and it's not just through us. Before we came to the green room, Sherry Kane, who is a manager there, is one of my most favorite people in the world and a bunch of my friends who had kids who needed new representation, I brought to her. Ironically, these kids now, who I never thought I would manage in a million years, all of these kids are under the same house where we are. Now, more and more of these kids and their friends are coming to us. So in a way, it was an amazing networking moment for your manager for your for your partner who's now your partner who was a friend at the time yes. she was able to benefit from your relationship with her because you brought her all these new new this new well, talent well she did but in return i never wanted to be a manager and she saw it in me more than anybody and she said you need to be with me yeah. so she brought us into the green room which is incredible Thank you so much for your time today. We really appreciate you coming here. Thanks for having me. So check out our blog for more information on networking and everything entertainment industry related. shandonphotography.com slash blog. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us.